Uh, hi, I'm Amanda from Groovy Babies and a special uh, thanks to Michelle from the Sleep Tights Babies VIP expert um, group for having me again this week to answer some questions from uh, mums. So the first question I'm going to answer tonight is from Jenna and Jenna has um, written to me asking what age do you begin a sleep routine for a baby? Currently she has a six week old and breastfeeding on demand and the baby's waking every two to three hours sleeping in a bassinet. So she was curious on when she could establish a routine um, and also when to swap baby into their own room and cot. So first of all a few questions there to answer. Um, there is a big difference between an actual parent-led routine versus a baby-led routine. So children um, fall into natural biological sleep patterns um, due to cues in their environment and also the cues that we as our parents um, give them and the way that we response. So, you know, with my newborn families that I work with and the sleep workshops I do, um, often if you follow the biological 90 minute rhythm, um, the awake times of a newborn, which is about 45 minutes to um, an hour, if you just sort of follow those biological clocks right from the word go, a baby will establish um, a pretty good routine between six and eight weeks of age. Generally, because they don't secrete their own melatonin, they um, are not able to follow a timed rhythm easily until close to about three to four months of age when they do start to secrete their own melatonin. And so it does become easier if you want to establish a parent-led routine of like an, an eat, play, sleep or a feed, play, sleep routine after um, or close to about four months of age. Some children aren't able to easily follow a time routine until closer to five or six months of age. It does take a little bit of time and effort um, and often parents or mums get quite anxious when they find that their babies can't even follow a routine of that kind of structure um, and strictness of timing. So, um, you know, at the moment it sounds like your bub is doing really quite well. So congratulations, you're definitely doing something right. So um, when to swap a baby into her own room or her own cot? I mean, you know, SIDS guidelines recommend the baby um, stays and within the parent or presence um, up until even 12 months. Um, most families seem to uh, last to six months um, in their same room, in their own sleep surface. Um, and again, you know, if your baby's in a bassinet and you're going to be swapping them into a cot, you need to give them ample opportunity to be able to um, get used to sleeping in that different environment. So whether you just do day naps in the bassinet or day naps in the cot or night naps in the cot or night cat naps in, you know, in the bassinet, um, just you know, move and get them used or acclimatised to the different environment. So I hope that answers uh, some of your questions and if you have any other questions, feel free to touch base to amanda at groovybabies.com.au. Thanks.